I feel very compelled to ask you to share the top line of the three-step plan. Yeah. So I, I just talked about, okay, there's people that are high performing, but not high achieving. Why does that happen? I was curious about that. I think we're all capable. Like, let me just, let me tell everyone who's listening right now, congratulations, you're a high performer. And I know that because low performers don't listen to content like this. They don't even know podcasts like this exist. They don't read the types of books Chase recommends. They don't attend events. Like they don't do like you're vo- nobody made you listen to this podcast. By the very nature of you listening to this, you're not normal. You're interested. You're curious. You're a high performer. So how do we make sure we become high achievers? Because we all know people who are capable of sporadic bursts of high performance, but not long-term sustainable achievement. So what I found is that high performers tend to ricochet between three zones, three different performance zones. If you imagine like a line and the left end of the line would say the comfort zone, the far end of the other line, the other end of the line would say the, the chaos zone. And in the middle is the potential zone. So what happens is people get stuck in their comfort zone and maybe they get inspired. They It's New Year's and they're like, I'm going to do it. And they immediately try to do everything and they ricochet all the way over to the chaos zone and they go, I'm doing it. I'm doing everything, but it's not sustainable. It's not something they can do. And then they swing back to the comfort zone and they go, that's why we have the phrase yo-yo diet, because we tend to yo-yo between these two extremes. And I hadn't heard someone really like the comfort zone gets all the press, but the chaos zone, I think trips up more people that are creative than anything else. Cause I think everyone listening to this has done the thing where they're like, I'm going to learn yoga. I'm going to start tracking every penny. I'm going to change my logo. I'm going to connect with more friends. I'm like, and they come up with 10 goals for a single weekend and they can't do it. And that's chaos zone. And so they, they stop doing everything. And so what I found is that the potential zone is in the middle of those. It's, it's not too little. It's not too much. It's kind of like Goldie's Goldilocks zone. Like it's just right. And so the three-step plan is you escape the comfort zone with easy goals. Like you get yourself out of the comfort zone with easy goals. You avoid the chaos zone with middle goals and you live in the potential zone with what I call guaranteed goals. And that phrase is unusual, guaranteed goals. But an example of that, I, I spoke to somebody today who who is working out and they're getting in shape and they're like, no, if I work out an hour a day and I cut refined sugars, at the end of 90 days, I'm guaranteed to be in better shape. And I said, exactly. Same with me. If I write 500 words a day, I'm guaranteed at the end of this, there's a book that happens. And there's a lot of those situations in life that if I encourage 30 friends a day, Chase, I'm guaranteed to have better relationships. That's not magic, dude. It's really not. Like that's just that's just math. And so that's the three-step plan is how do you do those three things? I think there's a lot of people that will recognize themselves in the chaos zone and say, oh, okay, that's the zone that's been tripping me up. I didn't even have a name for it. And, and now I know what I can do with it. 